everyone. Welcome to this Video Sans Frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield and today we're actually going to be taking a look at a game which I've heard is actually going to be re-released. Now this game is quite an old point-and-click adventure game um, that originally came out in 1996 I do believe although this version seems to be a later um, incarnation because uh, it asked me to install DirectX 8 <clears throat> which certainly was not around back in 1996. The game in question you can probably see on the computer screen here um, the screen of the Armada E500 is uh, Zumbini, it's a logical journey. Now I'm not sure what a Zumbini actually is, apart from a, a weak creature, a weak and around purplish creature, but the idea is this. Um, so I, It's been a while since I played this game, but um, if I remember rightly, um, the Zumbini's land had been taken over and I can't remember if they're trying to, I think they're trying to get away um, out of danger. And you've got to take them on this journey to get away, um, during which you'll actually have to complete a few puzzles. Now, a lot of this is just down to chance, um, but a lot of it, is also, well, a lot of it is um, logical, if you will. You know, there's, there's kind of a lot of logic puzzles. And, you know, it's a brilliant game because not only does it teach logic, it also teaches um, also teaches kids how to you know, experiment with the computer, which is something that I always, you know, I, it's something that I do always look for in an educational computer game. You know, some element of exploration. What happens if I click this? What happens if I send that there? What happens if I do this? What happens if I do the next thing? And it's the sort of thing that will keep kids hooked, but also will help them develop confidence in, you know, things that they might get up to in later life. Anyway, enough of me yammering. Let's play. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but um, I will play possibly for a wee bit. Not too long ago, Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. And so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small, useful products which were prized the world over. The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. Then one day, who should show up but the bloats? The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses, expand their trade routes, and improve their quality of life. Okay, I really don't know why it's crashing there. Um, it just seems odd. <clears throat> well, with it being a learning, with it being a newer incarn incarnation of the game, I guess what I could do is. Um, I could try it with Windows 2000. Now, this is the second time I've tried this, and, you know, I've tried a different disc, and it's done basically the same thing, so I, I really don't know what gives. 
I had it working about a year ago, but I can't remember which system it was working on. It's a problem I'm having. So, I'll tell you what I'll do, I will start up Windows 2000 and we'll see if we can get it going. Be right back once I'm logged in. Okay, so uh, that's me booted up into Windows 2000 Professional. So uh, let's have a look at how it plays on here. <clears throat> One would hope it would actually work. enjoyed the good life. Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. That's good. And so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small, useful products which were prized the world over. That's nice. The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. Then one day, who should show up but the bloats? The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses, expand their trade routes, and improve their quality of lighty, of lighty, of lighty, of lighty, of light. Well, that pretty much answers that. Well, that sucked, deadly axe. Right. <clears throat> I wonder if I can get the game working without actually having to watch that uh, intro video. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Excellent. We're in. So here we could choose to make some zoom beanies. Right. We actually need what I think we'll do. You can collect the Zumbini Isle is the place where you recruit each band of escaping Zumbinis. A total of 16 Zumbinis are required to start each trip. 16. Only two Zumbinis with the exact same features can be recruited throughout an entire game. Select a Zumbini by clicking on the different features in the lower left box until it has the features you want. Then click on the diagonal green arrow. And then here's the map. I wonder if I could, uh... So, let's make, so, let's make one or two. <clears throat> I love how it looks like an onion. So, I've made one, <clears throat> let's make another one. Okay then, apparently works is updating itself. Why did you feel the need to interrupt my game for that?
so <clears throat> I've got two there so what I can do is I'll randomize some and then you've got different hairstyles that I don't seem to see here like the uh, ponytail so I've got four Eight, so I need eight more. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got twelve. So I need four more. One. Two, three, four. After days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. <coughs> now this... This exercise is quite funny, actually. Again, we can click the question mark. The allergic cliffs play by certain rules. What one cliff accepts, the other rejects. Look for one feature, such as a red nose, that does not cause an allergic reaction. So, again, like I said, this is trial and error. You will lose some Zubinis. Zubinis here. So, let's try one of the um, ponytail ones. Okay, it's not the ponytail that makes them allergic. That one's got what one? That one's got a um, red nose and roller skates and glasses. So I wonder what happens. <laughs> Right, okay. So what about this one? So it's either the red nose or the sunglasses that gets... Okay, it's the sunglasses. So let's try the sunglasses on this cliff. So that cliff is fine. Okay, so that cliff either doesn't like the purple nose or the eyes or the spring. So let's have a look at um, another one with the purple nose. Okay, so that one... Oh dear. Yeah. Zumbinis were left behind, but the knowledge was gained. Press on, brave explorer. Okay.
dull guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow, the other guard surely will. Something that this game seems to teach. Blue. blue. Yeah, I've, I've got kind of blue hair. It's, it looks black and probably, definitely on video my hair looks black. But I mean in the right light it is blue. Anyway, um, so that's kind of really kind of teaching you how to discriminate. Wait a minute, how am I... Well, why not? Have a good time. Okay, that's fine. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, you're a nasty old piece of work. Welcome. So what is it about? All right. So I'm guessing this might. Splendid job. So, hey, hey, don't be strangers. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, one very hungry pizza troll. Oh, yes. This is uh, a lot of people to buy the memory of this game. Flames? You're not flames. <laughs> Whatever you are, make me a pizza! <laughs> oh yeah. So basically what you've got to do is, again, kind of trial and error, you've got to make a pizza for whatever this is. Apparently it's a pizza troll. Um, so I think I'll start with a cheese base, add some uh, round things, Probably burnt pepperoni, some green peppers, and some olives. And just a wee bit of everything. Oh, and some whatever those are. Look, mate, there's Wayne starving in Ethiopia that would be glad of that. So just learn to be a bit mere respectful. Unfortunately, he won't. You have to make what he wants. There's a lot of wasted pizza. Sorry guys. Um, this, is, this does not count towards a Jay in the Kitchen video by the way. Something on that I don't like. Okay. Of course, he won't tell you what he doesn't like, so you'll have to kind of guess. Let's try. Let's try you with a pepperoni. More toppings. Moscow. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it now. <clears throat> I think this pepperoni and olive, or what I believe to be pepperoni and olives. So he doesn't like the peppers or the white things. Hip, hip, 
Okay then. Okay, where's the self-important narrator? He's no there, so... Hold on! Oh, hey. What's this? A campsite with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax! But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. So I guess I could actually go back and retrieve those other Zumbinis. Um, so... <clears throat> what I can do is I can actually save it here and what we'll do is we'll get some more Zumbinis, we'll play a bit more and then, you know, we'll see what I can do. I, I like that actually, just... <laughs> yeah, you guys go in the storage lockers, right enough. with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. I'm sure they will need a group Hold of... On. What? Maybe if I go back to the map screen, I might be able to make some mere Zumbinis. Or maybe, just maybe, I could go to the allergic cliffs, can I? Oh, can't they can. It's no letting me, I don't think. Oh, options. I think I'll get rid of the background music as well. It's Immersion touch sense. I don't know what immersion touch said says, but hey. All right, so I can actually go back and make some mares and beanies. So um, right, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So I I need uh, seven more. Eine, zwei, drei. Vier. Fünf. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need that many. Sixteen! Right, I think my, my phone might have overheated slightly. Um... Say hi to Arno. And so our brave travellers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous, one very hungry pizza troll. So obviously, every time we go through these... You're not planes! The uh, problems, the solutions to the problems change. I'll just start with the one with all the toppings, I think. Um, the pizza that I tried last time it didn't work, so I'm going to try one with just pepperoni, and maybe we'll find out that he doesn't like pepperoni. Something on that I don't like. Okay, so it could be cheese for all I know. You know what this reminds me of? Some of that stuff must go! <laughs> Some of the... That stuff 
Try cheese pizza. Difficult today. Uh, okay, folks, I guess the party's over. Behind, strike out for the nearest haven. What? They wait, uh, what? They wait to a caravan park or something? Um, let's put them away in these uh, Royal Mail standard issue storage lockers, I guess. Um, so now, if I want to, you know, now if I want to get more Zumbinis, I mean that that is possible to do. I could jump right back and do it again. Might actually, <laughs> might actually stay on this for a wee bit. Although in all seriousness, I've got to edit the video, and what have you. But um, I'm really sorry. I've only shown you a wee bit of the game, um, but it is quite an addictive game. Actually, I do I do like it, and um, definitely going to save this and come back to it. There we go. But, um, you know, the Zumbini's The Logical Journey is one of a series. I forget what the other ones are called. But, would I recommend it? Definitely. So, when it is re-released on modern platforms, I would say, get it. You know, it's really, really quite addictive. You see, I mean, this is... The th this is what I've been talking about with kids' games, you know, it's it's just like lots of things to do and to explore and, you know, the problems and solutions changing that. That is basically what the Thomas the Tank Engine game that I was reviewing, I think it was last week, lacked. It had no, it, it really had, um, it, it just kind of held your hand a bit much, but I guess this game is for a completely different age range to what Thomas was. And I guess, you know, Thomas the Tank Engine, I should really expect less for the age range that it was uh, designed for. Um, but um, with this game, it certainly does seem to be, you know, quite a full game. You know, and, and this is it. You don't necessarily need DVD loads of information to make a game that feels kind of full. You know, all you have to really do... And, and that is actually the hardest bit, actually, is to have a hook, you know, for the game. What's, uh, you know, kind of a good storyline and, you know, a way of playing through it that kind of introduces a wee bit of an element of randomness. You know, so it'll be slightly different each time you play. So, with that said... I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, video, Sans Frontier video. If you have, please feel free 
to subscribe to the channel, to like Video Sun Frontier on Facebook, and to follow me on Twitter. Until then, thank you for watching, and please join me for my next video. Keep me back.